Week one of LCS Challengers is in the books, and I'm here to catch you up if you're in a pinch. Day one started with a clash between FlyQuest Challengers and Disguise. FlyQuest dogpiled Minui in the draft and gave Bot a good start. Quad and Shaden would become bloodthirsty lunatics, and game one was done. Game two was a bit more even, but it was Chime's time to shine. 2-0, FlyQuest. Wildcard and Team Liquid Honda Challengers were next, and oh my god, Quacker got Darius. It's so over, bro. No. TL, what have you done? Oh god. Real talk, when he was immaculate this game, check out this opening path for First Blood. Game two was looking to be the TL comeback. They started with a really good lead, but man, Quacker and Winnie would not be denied. They would turn it around for a 2-0 upset victory. Wild card. Fear and Mirage next on the docket. Mirage began with an early assault on Toasty. That lead left Fear unable to break through the Mirage front line. A game one win for Mirage. New team, same Fear draft. As they draft to support Topside, Chad's counterpick Trundle bullies Will and RJS. And you get the point. Game two, Fear. Game three, all the marbles. Early game was a war of pathing between Chad and Will. Toasty's Nico would be the answer. Dropping it like a dump truck, Toasty's Pop Blossoms would devastate Mirage. 2-1 victory, Fear. Final series of the weekend, Maraville versus AoE. MU go aggro across the board in game one. Psycho Jerry would body AoE's bot lane. Dominant game one from Maraville University. Game two, MU would draft for side lanes, but struggle to get them online. AoE's control of the map and Onat's Oriana would secure game two. Final game, MU would draft Wombo Combo and give us one of the most satisfying clips of the week. AoE had decent objective focus, but when it was time to fight, it was always going MU's way. The Wombo from Hell gives MU a 2-1 victory. So there you have it. Be sure to watch the Salty Run Back podcast on Wednesdays and LCS Challengers on weekends. Peace.